Hello everybody, welcome back to Bellware the Terrible. Today we have a new standard deck for you called the Magma Bombers, featuring our Flareon VMAX from Evolving Skies. With the max detonate attack allowing you to discard the top 5 cards of your deck, and doing 100 damage for each energy card you discarded in this way. So how do we have as many energy cards to discard from our deck as possible? We have 26 energy cards in our deck. To begin with and we also are trying to compress our deck from non-energy cards as early on in the game as possible by drawing out our item cards our ball cards with our ball guy and with those balls we get to draw out our pokemons as well so we are essentially drawing out all of those non-energy cards from the deck leaving nothing but energy cards in the deck to discard with our max detonate so that's how powerful this combo is we are trying to compress our deck with ball guy with all of those balls with our yamper as well so yamper allows you to retrieve your pokeball and your great ball as you put it onto your bench during your turn from your hand so you get to scoop it up and recycle this ability but we are not scooping this card up just because we don't have a lot of pokemon cards in our deck to draw out so we don't actually need to use that many yamper uh, that much ball search ability within a game so just because we don't have a lot of pokemons we don't need all of those balls so great ball pokeball is a very very iffy card but the reason we are playing these two cards is because we have our yamper so great ball look at the top seven cards of our deck and draw out any pokemon you find there it's not very very good because we only have uh, 11 pokemon cards out of 60 cards in a deck that is not a very high chance that we are drawing we are going to be drawing any pokemon for, with this card but because we have that many pokemon and we have three copies of each pokey and great ball and we also have two copies of our yamper just because we are using them over and over and over again we actually increase our chances of drawing out our pokemon all of our pokemon cards from our deck so that we get to use detonate we get to save our flareon vmax as well uh prepare it in hand even if they marnie us at least we get to save it from being discarded with our max detonate we also have one rod to make sure that we get to shuffle back our key pokemon cards back into the deck sometimes we may need to shuffle back energy cards as well if we don't use our volcarona if it's stuck in our price card or if we can't use it in time it's better to just use your rod to shuffle back energy cards as well but sometimes you may uh it may be wiser not to do that just to accumulate enough energy card in your discard pile for a one hit knockout with your surging flames so surging flames very very powerful attack you get to do 20 more damage for each basic energy card in your discard pile with a base damage of 20 not only that you get to shuffle back those energy cards into your deck so this is an automatic energy recycling effect it's only one fire energy cost and is a basic pokemon so this is a very very strong card so surging flames actually set us up for the next max detonate that we use with our flareon v max so our next max detonate attack is gonna do a lot of damage after using our surging flames to shuffle back all of those energy cards from our discard pile back into the deck essentially leaving nothing but energy cards there so after using the first few max detonate before you use your first surging flames you would have essentially discarded a lot of non-energy cards from your deck uh, including energy cards and then after that you only need to shuffle back your energy cards with your surging flames to increase the amount of energy cards in your deck and increasing the chances of you doing even more damage with your max detonate so that is the way to go for this deck make sure you attack with your flyron v max first though before using your surging flames because otherwise this attack is not going to do much for you surging flames on its own is very very powerful as well because if you have 15 energy cards in your discard pile you're doing 320 damage already essentially knocking out a low hp v max pokemon that's how strong this attack is you're doing 300 plus damage if you have 15 energy cards in your discard pile we have 26 energy cards in this deck for capture energies though so this attack actually only works for basic energy cards if you have capture energy you don't actually get to do extra damage with your surging flames you don't get to shuffle these special energy cards back into your deck so after playing a lot of games with this deck i can tell you from my personal experience that you can't rely on your surging flames to do a one hit knockout just because you can't actually pile up enough basic energy cards in your discard pile fast enough to do that so you need 13 or 15 or even more basic energy cards in your discard pile to do up to 300 or 280 to knock out a tag team or v max so this is how uh confining this attack is we are not intending to do a one hit knockout with this attack we're only trying to use this attack for its effect so after your first flare and vmax gets knocked out we're expecting to have done at least two max detonate hits essentially uh discarding a lot of cards from our deck that are non-energy that are energy cards as well so after doing that uh, we have to use our surging flames to be able to replenish our deck with energy cards as much energy cards as possible all of the energy cards from our discard pile as a matter of fact and then uh that actually prepares for our next hit 
So the next max detonate that we do is gonna do a crazy amount of damage, doing uh, killing any V Max, any Pokemon that we want. We are gonna do a, a minimum of 400 damage. I promise you that because we have a lot of energy cards in our deck already. After compressing with your ball guy, after you know replenishing your deck, you're gonna do a a lot of damage. That is the main strong point, the main selling point for this deck. We are not using Volcarona for a knockout hit. We are only using it for the recycling energy recycling effect. Make sure you keep that in mind because if you focus too much on knocking out with your Surging Flames, if you focus too much on that, on piling up enough energy cards in your discard pile to do enough damage to knock out that VMAX, that tag team, then you can't actually win the game because that is not the main strong point for this deck. You know, you can't be focusing on that because you're going to end up wasting too many turns trying to collect enough energy cards to be able to knock out that one Pokemon, which is basically pointless. So it's better to use your Surging Flames after the first VMAX gets knocked out. After your first Flareon gets knocked out, use your Surging Flames, then use your Flareon once more. That is the way to go for this deck. So we have four capture energies in this deck, one Sonya, one Poke Kid, and four ball guys to bring out our basic Pokemons. We also have our balls to bring out our evolution Pokemon. We have no evolution incense in this deck, so we are relying on our great ball, our Pokeball, and also one Poke Kid in this deck to be able to draw out our Flareon V Max. So that is quite risky, but you know, it's well worth the risk because as I said, our great ball, pokeball, ball guy combo in pair with that Yamper Ball Surge actually does a lot for this deck. It actually helps compress a lot of cards, a lot of item, trainer, and also Pokemon cards, drawing them out from the deck so that we leave nothing but energy cards for us to discard with our max detonate to help us achieve that high damage. So another bad thing about this deck is that we are playing one copy of our Volcarona, uh, which is a two energy retreat cost card. So if it gets stuck as our first active Pokemon, we actually have to think about switching it out to be able to use our Flareon fast in the game. So Flareon is a strong card because you actually get to search your deck for a fire energy and attach it to this Pokemon with your flaming breath attack. Only one energy, one colorless energy cost. You can actually use capture energy for it as well. So you get to use flaming breath to attach an extra energy immediately at the start of the game if you have it as your first active. If we have our Volcarona stuck as our first active though, then we have to fish out our Bird Keeper or our Air Balloon to be able to move it out of the active spot so that we get to use our Flareon to do a lot at the start of the game. So that is why we only have one copy of our Volcarona in this game, even though it is very powerful with its Surging Flames attack, but we can't afford to have it stuck in the active spot. That is why we only have one copy of it. We also have one Poke Gear in this deck to fish out any supporter cards within the top 7 cards of our deck. Uh, we have 4 Ball Guys, 1 Bird Keeper, 1 Poke Kid, 1 Sonya, and 2 Rose. So Rose allows us to fast charge our Flareon VMAX to be able to do our Max Detonate early in the game because we want to do that to be able to discard fast, to be able to hit high damage fast. We also have 2 copies of our Elemental Badge to reduce our Flareon VMAX's attack cost by 1 Colorless. So we only need 2 Energy, 2 Fire, or 1 Fire and a Capture Energy to do our Max Detonate that Nate hit. So it's important to be aware of Dureldon VMAX. If you attach your capture energy, you can't actually hit their Dureldon VMAX. That's just, you know, an important thing to note. So Flareon VMAX, uh, it's actually better to charge it up with your Rose just because they can Crushing Hammer you. If they play a Crushing Hammer, you can't actually charge it fast enough with your Elemental Badge because you need two energy cards for it to work. So Rose, all you need to do with Rose is attach an energy from your hand and have two energy in your discard pile to be able to charge up your Flareon. So having two energy in your discard pile might be uh, quite difficult early on in the game, uh, you know, to start with. But that's fine because we have our Flaming Breath. If they use Crushing Hammer against our Flaming Breath, uh, we can actually attach another one from our hand and then Rose to quickly fast charge our Flareon VMAX for the Max Danate. So after using our first Flaming Breath, we already have two either in our either attached to our Flareon VMAX or if they discard it, then it's in our discard pile. Then on our next turn, we only need to attach from our hand and use a Rose or if they don't discard it, we don't even need to use a Rose. So that's how powerful your Flaming Breath is and you know I actually prefer Rose uh, than my uh, Elemental Badge just because Elemental Badge they can actually discard it with their Tool Scrapper, Tool Jammer or they can even uh, you know use a lot of Crushing Hammers then you can't actually attack anymore you actually have to pass the turn doing nothing you can't attack so that's the bad thing about your Elemental Badge. But the bad thing about Rose though is that you have to discard your hand and we are not playing any Rose Towers. We have no Quicketoon Vs in this deck. That means we can't actually draw back our hand. But that's fine because once we have our VMAXs in play, once we have two Flareon VMAX and one Volcarona in play, all we need to worry about is charging them up with energy cards. Once we have enough energy to attack, 
then we are good to go. That's enough for us to keep hitting with Max Detonate and Surging Flames and Max Detonate again. So that's all we need to do after that. Obviously use your ball guy first before using your rose because that way you get to compress your deck, you get to bring out all of your Pokemon cards before you uh, discard them with your Max Detonate. We don't want to be discarding our VMAX card with our Max Detonate. If we have no choice but to do that, then we have to fish out our rod to be able to shuffle back our Flareon VMAX and draw them back out so that we get to evolve our second VMAX card or our third one if we need it to be able to hit Max Detonate more times. So the main difficulty for this deck is to bring out our VMAX card. We can't do it on our first turn because we can't evolve on our first turn and we have to expect our opponent to use a Marnie after that. We are also relying a lot on chance to get out our VMAX card. We are playing Great Ball and Pokeball. We have no Evolution Incense in this card. We are only relying on those balls and one Poke Kid to get out our VMAX card. Whereas with our basic Pokemon, we have our Quick Ball, we have our Sonia, we have our uh, Capture Energy and Poke Kid. We have even our Great Ball and Pokeball to bring out our basic Pokemon. So that's the main thing we have to concern ourselves with when we are playing this deck Try to bring out your Flareon VMAX at the right time If you flip ahead with your Pokeball, make sure you get out a Flareon VMAX That is the main thing you have to focus on so, Ball Guy, Yamper obviously is a very very good combo but we are relying a lot on chance to be able to draw out our VMAX card. So, Great Ball, only the top 7 cards of your deck, Pokeball only if you flip a heads, and we are only playing 3 copies of each of those Ball cards, and we have only 2 copies of our Yamper, we have 4 copies of Ball Guy though, but normally when I use this deck, I would be able to get it out at the right time, so it's not actually that big of a concern, it's just that you're actually relying a lot of chance, you know, if you're a super unlucky person, if you play a lot of great balls and pokeballs and if you still can't bring out your VMAX with those cards, uh, even after a lot of ball search as well, then you're screwed, you know, because you have to use your great ball and pokeball to bring out your VMAX. Otherwise, you're going to have to rely on that one poke kid. So this is a very, very different deck. We are not playing the regular supporter cards like Marnie, Research, Every, none of that. We are only playing one Bird Keeper to draw cards into our hand. We have two copies of Crobat though to draw cards into our hand so that we get to bring out our key cards that we may need. Maybe our Elemental Badge, maybe Air Balloon or Rose or even Poke Kid. So we can bring out our Crobat V with our Pokeball, Great Ball or our Quick Ball. We can even draw it out with our Poke Kid. So having Ball Guy and our Balls allow us to fish out our Crobat easily and allow us to draw easily when we need to. So we may only need it at the right time. So if we don't need our Crobat V, if we, have, if we already have have the perfect setup then don't draw cards because if you draw cards you're going to reduce the amount of energy cards in your deck essentially doing less damage with your max detonate so sometimes it may be wiser not to use your crobat v just because uh you know just because you already have the perfect setup if you don't have the right cards in hand then search for your crobat v with your balls so that is the main strategy for this deck is to compress your deck by bringing out all of your ball cards by drawing out all of your trainer cards and all of your pokemon cards and leaving nothing but energy cards for you to discard with your max detonate so that is all for this deck. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let's go ahead for gameplay. Gameplay will be silent so that everybody gets to focus. Hope you guys enjoyed the game. Have fun. We will see you in the next video. And have a nice day. Bye, guys.